Hello everyone. Hi. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We are staying toasty by our little fire. <laughs> we thought in this video we'll talk to you a little bit about what we plan to do over the next few months and into 2024. We had a very nice Christmas and our new house, didn't we? We had a lovely Christmas. With Bailey with us 24-7. Lovely mm. Christmas dinner. Yes. We mm -hmm. didn't go for the traditional Portuguese dinner, but we made something relatively similar to what we normally have. Yeah. And we went for a lovely walk around the local area. Hard to believe that we literally walk out our door and we're there with that amazing view. Yeah. Very cool. So over the past few months we've built up so much dead bush, gorse, all cuts of broom, overgrownness. <laughs> so much. We've got piles everywhere. Here in Portugal, if you want to burn all your waste, if you want to burn your waste, you need to book in a date for it, and that's really just for fire safety purposes. So yep. we've booked a date, today is the day we're going to burn. Good. We're past sort of month or so, we've been clearing the land quite a bit. Yeah, it's a lot easier because it's winter, some bits are dying off. Easier to get to them, to cut them down, isn't it? Definitely. We've been pruning trees. Some pruning trees, planting trees. <laughs> pruning trees, planting trees. Basically trying to get the land in a little bit more of a presentable condition. The sky to fill the morning air with warmth and light. Sounds of birds in harmony. You there right next to me. As you will have heard us mention before, one of our main goals here is to set up an off-grid homestead, which we are on the way to doing. We are. And also work towards self-sufficiency, which will involve us growing a lot of our own food. Yes, which will be a big part of it in the future. This area that we're in at the minute is where we're going to have our garden beds. No dig, mostly raised garden beds. This area is located in the middle of our land and there's walls around the most of it and a cliff at the far side. We plan to put small fences around the top of the walls to keep wild animals out, to keep them away from our veg. We're also going to set up a watering system from our pond which is just behind the camera slightly higher. So we have quite a lot of work to get that all set up before planting in the spring. So, as Will mentioned, we need to set up an irrigation system so that our plants stay healthy. Mm -hmm. I really hope we get a good harvest. Same. But we've planted lots of fruit trees, we've been watering them regularly by hand. The swales that we dug uh, earlier, a couple okay. months ago, yeah. they are doing really well at holding some of the water. The yeah. soil is excellent quality. The composting system is working really well. Got a good lot of compost from there for our trees. Priorities garden wise for until spring really because we want to be ready to start growing this spring. Before spring we want to have garden bed set up ready for planting and we want to have our irrigation system set up as well. We have two ideas for that. One involves the pond and the other one involves our a grey water harvesting system. So we've quite a lot of work to do on that regarding the garden. 
We've also been working a lot on our bird tails because once we have fire, <laughs> once we have our pond ready, then that's available for use by ducks. This year we hope to get some chickens and ducks and priorities renovation wise for the house is 100% our kitchen which I will get Will to tell you a little bit more. We have kind of put a pause on things. We were making very quick progress. We replaced the roof completely. We finished the ceiling. We've got the electric sorted in there. But we've hit pause on that because now is the time to manage the land a little bit better. So we've been really working on that and trying to create some nice areas a lot where our fruit trees are and we just want to turn this place into our own little paradise, really. Bird, baby, bird! So in our kitchen we've got the ceiling all complete, a few touch-ups of paint just left, cosmetic. We have two of our walls fully repointed, ready to paint, and the floor leveled out, ready for the tiles to go down. Two walls left to repoint will be the next job before the floor. Really looking forward to getting the floor in and the walls all done. That means we can start our kitchen build then. And then we'll have a fully working kitchen. Wow. kitchen. <laughs> kitchen. So in January, a uh, trip to the sawmill is yeah. on the cards. Order some more wood. You've got some laths to do. Yeah, a lot of working out. <laughs> so we, we actually plan to go twice because there's two different places that do slightly different types of things. But we plan to go once to order the stuff for the kitchen cabinet and also the stuff to help build up our pond. We've come up for they've come up with a plan for that. Yeah, it's gonna look really nice. Hey Billy! <laughs> Hello, Bill. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. He's happy. Hey. <laughs> Your face is red. Is it? Yeah. Very warm by the fire. <laughs> oh, it's getting low again. I'll top her up. Hey. Be careful with the fire.
So, as Will said, the main renovation project that we want to focus on over the next few months is the kitchen. So by spring, that's our main focus, garden and kitchen. Garden is going to be a really like an ongoing forever project that we'll just keep building on. But after that, towards the middle to the end of the year for next winter, ideally we want new windows and doors throughout the house because it's cold. And for that we will need our workshop. We'll need a workshop. I mean, <laughs> this is where the list just keeps building and building. Yeah. <laughs> Excited to get your workshop, aren't you? Yeah, make things a lot easier for upgrading our house and land. Won't it? Yeah. Will's excited to get stuck into some proper woodwork, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> kitchen, new windows, doors. Once we've the kitchen completed, we can. it won't be too hard to finish off some of our other rooms, like our living room. Some new wood burners install install for next winter. Yes, definitely. I would like a bed for next winter if possible. Bed. Mattress on the floor works fine, but it would be quite nice to have a bed. <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. A nice bedroom. And most importantly, what did we talk about? Can't remember. <laughs> We've been really busy since we arrived, so we've been oh, here about six. <laughs> we've been here like six months, and we really enjoyed the work. Yeah, but a lot of work just to get it livable and a bit more comfortable. Yeah, and we wouldn't have put so much pressure on ourselves, but it was very important things like basic utilities, like we needed to get electricity sorted, we needed to get water sorted, yeah, and things like that are really important. But we're there now. We are. So we want to take more time out to do the things that we enjoy. We right. live in a amazing place, like everywhere around here is beautiful, it really is. Very nice walks and hikes to go on just on our doorstep. Yes. Is one thing. So that's one thing. And then uh, back in Ireland we went surfing regularly, we went on road trips. Paddleboarding. Paddleboarding, <laughs> kayaking, sea swimming. We love all that kind of thing. And yeah. we haven't really made much time to do it so far. Not yet. But over the next forever, we'll be doing a lot more of it. The next forever. <laughs> but yeah, life's for living, so you have to do it. And I love the work that we do here. But it's nice to get away and get in the water. And enjoy ourselves as well. Yes, exactly. Off the land, as well as on it. Exactly. We've got mountains to climb, new cities to see, new little towns to see, new food to try. New river beaches to visit. New river beaches <laughs> to visit, exactly. And yeah, so we're really, really, really looking forward to incorporating more days out into our lives in the new year. Bailey, you can join us for some of the adventures. Hey! She's a good little hiker. Yeah, she likes the mountains, don't you? Good thing we live on one. <laughs> <laughs> if you would be interested in seeing any of our adventures out and about exploring around Portugal, do let us know in the comments and we'll be very happy to record some of that for you. If not, yeah. then no worries. <laughs> <laughs> After a couple of weeks of our solar panels being moved, um, they are working great. It has been nice bright days, but they are doing just what we wanted them to do. No more solar panel issues. Yeah. We can have all the lights on. All the lights on, a good coffee machine on. Very important that. Very important. I'm really looking forward to expanding our homestead in the new year. Me too. More living things. <laughs> Will has just went to start another fire in the next field. So as mentioned, we want to grow as much of our own food as possible here. 
on the homestead and with that comes a lot more cooking, a lot more preserving. We're really lucky because so far since arriving we've made our own chutney from the apples and figs in our trees, mushroom soups. We've already had some really nice meals from stuff from the land. We've dried some chilies out, we've dried some other fruits out, uh, we've used our marmellows to make marmalada as recommended by our viewers on YouTube. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing more of that in the new year for sure. I love cooking, as does well. We're quite the cooks and we love eating, so <laughs> watch this space. So overall six months in, we love it here. We really, really do, don't we? We do. I think we've made the best decision that we could have made. Yeah, it's been a life changing. Great decision from us. Yeah, some good decision making this year by moving to Portugal, buying a 16 acre farm <laughs> with no farming experience whatsoever. We haven't had a lot of challenges. I suppose the biggest sort of challenge has been dealing with the cold this winter. Yeah. Uh, just and learning new things, but we've learnt so much. For example, the solar panels. Yeah, we've learnt a lot. Uh, probably we were talking about this the other day, and the only sort of downside about exactly where this farm is, it's great because of the we've got so much of own space. It's nice and private got FFUs. The downside though is that there it is beside a municipal hunting zone, Zona de Casa, which means every now and then, well actually for a while there it was quite regular. Yeah, hunting dogs and the hunters, just everywhere. The hunters park up and technically it's they're, they're not parked through our land but because none of our land is fenced, the hunting dogs come running through our land. So, I mean, it's not really an issue right now, but whenever we have birds, birds, livestock, and any other livestock that we do have in the future, we do need to think about that. Yeah, we need to make sure they're well protected. Which you may have heard us mention before, we are going to look at fencing, but it's a massive area, so it will be little bits at a time. We obviously, well, we would like to free range our birds as much as possible, but yeah. they'll probably be free ranged within a field. It's a really big field anyway, to begin with. Yeah, and, and we can expand on that. Yeah. Spread out. Around the different areas that we've talked about in the farm, we will have various fencing and things to help keep any future animals safe, possibly yeah. another dog <laughs> in the future. Yeah, nice guardian dog. Yeah. But yeah. For our livestock. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, our plans start around the vegetable garden and around where we're going to keep our chickens for fencing and then just expand down the way and up the way. Yeah, just gradually. Bits at a time. <laughs> Once again, manpower. <laughs> Two manpower. Yeah. One man, one one man. And carrying everything. Yeah. Takes a bit of time, a lot more time than we thought it would have. Yes. Just getting things into position before actually doing anything with them. <laughs> yeah, even this, every time we cut back, we nearly need to spend the same amount of time again in either and sorting the wood Process that you cut it, back. Really? Yeah. yeah, so whether that be for firewood or whether that be to burn and get rid of completely. Or to use for future projects yeah. to try out. We've got some bigger trees which have come down with the wind, which we've set aside, which we want to let them dry out. We can make me a bed from <laughs> in the future. I want a nice natural wood bed with like the curves. <laughs> Excited mm -hmm. for that. Yeah, me too. We could have the fire a bit bigger and a lot more of them. We will have another one or two around different parts of our land but we don't want to give ourselves any 
problems. problems. <laughs> We're armed and ready with water and it's just a tiny fire. <laughs> we bet to the time is good for us. Yeah. No point a big ferocious fire here. And running about trying to keep them all lit. Never there's just the two of us. Yeah. No stress. No stress. Well, thank you everybody for watching this video and thanks so much for all our loyal watchers and subscribers who yep, have you. been watching us throughout 2023 from the very day that we arrived here. We've <laughs> been documenting our journey and I know a lot of you have been following along the way. So we so appreciate your involvement with it. It means the world to us, all your comments. We've learned so much from YouTube comments. We just have. from talking to people, whether that just be recipes or ideas and different ways to do things. It's nice to be connected with other people who are interested in the same sort of things that we are. Yeah, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we will continue to show you our journey this year. Yep. We'll see you very soon for more Homestead action. <laughs> Bye! Bye!